Nothing compares to having a single, unbreakable best friend who is there for you no matter what, when the best buddy is a member of the family, it's much better, with Scout the cat and Charlie the dog, that was undoubtedly the case upon being adopted as a small kitten, Scout developed an intense obsession with her older brother Charlie, regretfully, nothing endures eternally. The events that transpired when Scout lost contact with her closest buddy were absolutely devastating from the minute. They met, Charlie the dog and Scout the cat became the closest of friends, though it may have been true for some, these two defy the conventional notions of cats and dogs not getting along, Scout started sleeping next to Charlie as soon as she was brought home, at the early age of five weeks from that point on, the two were destined to be buddies, even though Charlie was ten years old at the time, he didn't feel too old to befriend a small, devoted kitty, besides, how was he supposed to resist? Her, Scout was simply too adorable and cozy, the two became inseparable in an instant, their connection seemed so reciprocal, which might have been one of its best aspects, they seemed to genuinely love one another equally, Charlie was always careful to be as kind as possible with his little kitten pal, even though he was much larger, he basically gave her free reign to do when she pleased because he was a friend pleaser. He realized, after all, that she merely had good intentions, even there. Dinners together were almost always shared by the two friends, Scout would seize the chance to indulge in one of her guilty pleasures, smelling Charlie's ears, they truly had an odd little pattern of their own, together, the two contented animal friends hardly ever parted, Scout would accompany Charlie almost wherever he went, they were often actually so close that their owner couldn't believe it, just look at that smug expression, Charlie was pretty accommodating to their owner at the time, my dog doesn't like to sleep near the cat, but she adores him and will lay next to him until he gives up moving, the owner said, it would pass, just like everything else, sadly, Charlie battled illness for a long time, and his death brought an abrupt end to their great relationship, it makes sense that Scout was completely upset to lose her best pal, the owner of the two animals had an idea when Charlie died. What if she played old Charlie recordings on an iPad she set on Charlie's old bed for them? Grieving Scout, would it cheer up the miserable cat's mood, it would, immediately, just like people like to view videos and gaze at images of their departed loved ones, Scout would curl up with the iPad and listen to Charlie's old videos, it seems that little Scout experienced the same results, Scout really missed her huge furry friend. But she had a means to always remember him and the great times they shared before this tragic event because of her owner's quick thinking, it was not surprising. When Scout and Charlie's owner shared a few more significant updates on them throughout the years, as she had been posting adorable photos of the two of them on her Instagram page for a few years, since Scout and Charlie's owner had amassed a sizable internet fan base, it was clear that those followers were curious to find out more about Scout's grieving process. In actuality, Scout and Charlie's owner had been in pain for a while. But life continued on, this is her now, beautiful as ever, even. Though we're still grieving for her sweet Charlie, she continued, thankfully, eventually, things began to improve for both of them, after protracted periods of mourning, Scout was rediscovering how to enjoy herself on her own, for example, one of her favorite activities was to find out how to get up to her preferred location on the bookshelves, as only a cat owner can. Scout's owner continued to take pleasure in her funny behaviors and didn't give up on trying to have fun with her, the owner of. Scout jokingly said, she goes full pirate when there's a bobby pin, she then made the decision to surprise her cat, the owner of Scout brought Oswald, a cute new dog, home, the healthy dog settled into his new owner's house with ease, all that remained to be asked was how Scout would respond, when it happened, Scout warmed up to Oswald really well even though he was never able to have the same level of connection that Scout had with Charlie. They undoubtedly created a unique bond of their own. Even though she was first a little nervous, Scout grew to love her new puppy, I'm hoping that the two of them will become the best of friends quickly because that's probably what Charlie would have wanted, although this is undoubtedly a very depressing narrative, it is also incredibly lovely, 
Even though animals are meant to fight like cats and dogs, there is nothing quite like the companionship that animals have, that concludes the first narrative. Let's see another one, the worry that a woman has when she finds an abandoned kitten is that it will never stop crying, but when she brings it to the veterinarian, she finds something unexpected and frightening, being an animal lover, Katie was overjoyed to find a small ginger cat partially concealed beneath a shrub, it was so tiny that Katie would have completely missed it if it weren't for its loud, incessant cries. The kitten had obviously been hiding for a few long hours since it appeared bewildered and terrified, Katie felt compelled to look into it more after hearing those little, frantic meows, she didn't hesitate to bend over and carefully pick up the quivering creature, holding it in her arms, fortunately, it seemed unafraid of her and gladly let her to hold it, the kitten's fur was matted and unclean, indicating that it had been left on its own for a while, as Katie took a closer look at it, though terror filled its emerald green eyes. A glimmer of trust could also be seen in them, the thing's thin coat revealed its tiny ribs, which suggested that it was famished, the kitten seemed tired, but as Katie stroked its silky fur, it purred softly, offering a ray of hope in an otherwise desolate area, Katie instantly felt a connection with the helpless tiny creature as she clutched the cat to her bosom, something so little shouldn't have to endure a life of abandonment and terror, Katie made the decision to bring the kitten home with her for the night. Determined to give it a chance in a loving environment, this abandoned furball was not going to last very long on its own, she understood that giving this tiny creature a safe place was not just a deed of charity, but also a duty she could not shirk, being an animal lover, she was happiest when she had a small critter to tend to, Nolan, as Katie had come to lovingly call him cried uncontrollably all the way back home. He appeared to have had some sort of trauma because of the puffy and tearful eyes, all night long, the depressing noises reverberated. Throughout the peaceful neighborhood, Nolan's little but persistent meows as he huddled against Katie's breast broke her heart and made her feel powerless, as if there was nothing she could do to comfort the wretched creature or ease its suffering, Katie made an effort to calm and quiet Nolan by speaking to him in a gentle and soothing manner, she thought the crying would cease if it felt content and more cozy, but it appeared to get worse every hour. Not in this state, she simply could not take. Nolan back to where she had discovered him, given how helpless and pitiful the little creature was, Katie was aware that she owed it to it to take care of it, the kitten ate his food and drank his water, but he still cried, and Nolan's little face was still wet with tears when she cradled him tenderly, more than anything, Katie wanted to ease his pain, but she was unable to determine what he required, since he appeared to be unharmed. At least from the outside, she reasoned that the source of his excruciating suffering had to be within. Considering his small size, she pondered if he was missing his mother and siblings or if he had experienced trauma in a manner that was beyond her comprehension, Nolan, poor little thing, wailed all night long, his frantic meows keeping her awake in order to find the kitten's family, Katie made the decision to return to the location where she had discovered him as morning approached, perhaps there was something Nolan was trying to tell her, and she would return home carrying even more kittens. However, the bush was deserted, and no quantity of cat food appeared to be sufficient to entice any more kittens, Katie was correct when she made her initial assessment, Nolan was on his alone in the world, his family either lost or gone forever, sadly, this also suggested that there was still a problem to be solved and that he wasn't crying out of loneliness, feeling stuck for ideas. Katie decided to take Nolan to the vet to get expert advice, it seemed as though she had tried every possible method to calm the unfortunate kitten, but to no avail, the fur surrounding his eyes had actually become matted and damp from his tears, so things had actually gotten worse, his agitated meows further suggested that something was clearly wrong, Katie gave the unfortunate kitten one last chance to calm down before leaving, she played with it for a little, even brushing the matted fur away from his wet eyes. But Nolan was in a depressed mood, meowing and wailing all the time for Katie, it was a terrible thing that she appeared to be unable to assist, 
She had years of experience volunteering at shelters, so she was used to being able to restore the health and well-being of animals, however, it appeared that despite her years of dedication and training, Nolan's pain could not be lessened. The ride to the veterinarian felt longer than usual because Nolan's piercing cries were piercing Katie's sympathetic heart and making every minute seem like an eternity upon arriving, the vet examined. Nolan attentively, studying his every movement and reaction, he ran all kinds of tests and checks and detected a few minor faults that could simply be dealt with, but the vet had a suspicion about what was going on in Nolan's eyes and why he was crying. He ran a little test and moved Nolan to another room for a time, away from Katie, to observe what happened, surely enough, the crying eased. And the kitten seemed slightly more comfortable, the veterinarian came back to Katie, gently grasped her trembling hands, and spoke something quietly, their gazes met, and they exchanged calming words, I can see why your cat is crying so much, he truly has an allergy to something, and it's probably the makeup you've been using, this unbelievable and surprising discovery stunned Katie, and her mind began to race, trying to remember if her makeup had ever come into contact with the cat. She could have unintentionally touched Nolan with cosmetics when she was holding him during those restless evenings. The tears had begun when she'd first found him behind the bush, and since then she'd been wearing perfume and makeup, now that everything was beginning to make sense, Katie was overcome with deep sorrow and shame about having caused such an adverse reaction in such a helpless kitten, fortunately. The veterinarian was quite sympathetic and told her that she could not have known about this sensitivity. He instructed her to keep Nolan's surroundings spotless and to avoid applying makeup while caring for him until his health recovered. Taking this advice to heart, Katie changed her daily schedule right away to make room for tiny Nolan, she took great care to dispose of any cosmetics that might damage him and made a firm commitment to give him a secure haven, she even spent a considerable money replenishing her supply of kitten-safe cosmetics by searching online for items that wouldn't aggravate Nolan's allergies. The kitten's once dejected eyes began to brighten a few short hours after. These adjustments were made, as the allergic symptoms started to lessen, the constant meowing eventually stopped and faded into quiet for both Katie and Nolan, that evening proved to be a pivotal moment, their link became stronger as they sat together on the couch in their new peaceful house, possibly for the first time in his brief existence since abandonment, as he curled comfortably on her lap, from then on. They were bound together as friends, Katie committed herself to giving Nolan unending, Love and devotion in addition to tending to his recovery, she gave him a forever home where he would never feel alone or abandoned again via her perseverance and unshakable dedication. Over time, Katie saw how easily Nolan became a part of her life, bringing with him abundance, love, and happiness. Nolan's ceaseless sobbing had turned into happy purrs, telling Katie that she had made the correct choice that particular day. Choosing compassion over apathy 